Well, hello again. Welcome to the VK6S Fun Without Matter Radio channel. I've now got the uh, the QYT KT 8900 connected to a General Dynamics R8000B uh, communication systems analyzer. Now, the writing on the screen in the analyzer is a little on the small side, so I hope you're going to be able to see this. So, first of all, I'll uh, I'm, I'm monitoring the repeater input frequency which is 146.150, press the PTT and we can see saying uh, frequency error 0 0.13 kilohertz so it's 130 hertz high in frequency we go down here we can see the 21.12 watts output power and if we go there we can see deviation and you should see deviation go up It's peaking at about 4.3 kilohertz of uh, deviation. That's on uh, that's on two meters. We go on 70 centimeters. Uh, just have to put in the. Oh, I don't know what the split is. What's the split? It's 434075. Stand by. So we'll just go to monitor frequency. 434.075. Four, three, four. Hang on, let's go. <laughs> what else that was? <laughs> this is amateur radio, after all. Four, three, four point zero seven five. Four, three, four point zero seven five megahertz. Okay, so now I've changed it to four, three, four point zero seven five. So that's seventy centimeters. Let's get that focusing. Press the PTT. We find it's 210 hertz high, if you can see that frequency error in the bottom left there, the deviation. So it's just peaking up a little bit more there, I think, on 70 cm, it's about 4.4 kilohertz of deviation, I think, there. But it's probably about the same as on 2 meters, and if we go down to the power level down here in watts, 12.5, 12 12.51 it's saying, 12.42, 12.51. So there we go, so that's how it looks on a, uh, on a communications analyzer. Um, I'll uh, figure out how to work the spectrum scope, or uh, put it on a spectrum, or the, put it on the individual item of uh, equipment, the, um, uh, we've got a spectrum analyzer around somewhere and uh, see how the spectral purity looks. Oh, actually, no, before we do that, I'll just do a receiver check. Let's just see how well the receiver works. So it's listening at the moment on 439075. So if I go to generate, generate fre frequency, 439075, so it's 439.075 megahertz. Um, it's actually wide band. I'll tell you what, I'll pause this, I'll set this up and I'll, uh, I'll continue. Okay, so I think, uh, I think we've got a handle on this. So now we're generating, got a generate frequency on here of, was it 439.075? Uh, I've got uh, an RF output level of uh, where is it? Minus uh, 127 dBm, so I won't expect to be hearing anything. Got a 1 kilohertz tone modulated to a deviation of 3 kilohertz. So let's just let's just wind it up and see where the receiver opens. Wind up the RF level into the... Oh, that's not bad at all, actually. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I can hold that with that hand. I'm going to hold that with that hand. That's not bad, you know, for a cheap radio, that's... That's Neg 124. Okay, so it opens at Neg 124, as you can hear, there's, uh, there's plenty of audio coming out of this uh, little radio. As I say, it's a 1 kilohertz tone modulated to a deviation of 3 kilohertz. Plenty of level there, okay. So the receiver on 70 centimetres is certainly, uh, certainly, certainly a pass, certainly pass that one. 
Okay, so let's see, uh, let's just change it to um, VHF, see how it does on two meters. So if I go to, first of all, I'll, I'll wind the level up so that it's not hearing anything. And to generate frequency, and we want to generate 146, 750. 146. Seven five zero megahertz. Okay. So now we go to there. You can see that one four six seven five zero. And we got the fixed one kilohertz tone, and the level is three kilohertz. We now go to output level, which is minus one hundred and thirty dBm. Switch the thing over to VHF. And see where it opens. Sorry about the wobbly camera, but as I said, I haven't got the uh, haven't got the tripod with me. So there we go. It's just a case of knocking these things out when I can. Turn the volume up on the radio might help, won't it? Okay, so. Where are we? Where's the level? There we go. Let's see if I can hold that. that as well I think that's squelch overs at neg 125 doesn't sound particularly noisy sounds fine and then we go give it a decent signal level so neg 96 you can hear how that sounds there's no noise there there's plenty of audio coming out of it um, generating this amount of audio let's turn that up quite a lot of audio there it's drawing uh, 300 milliamps, you can see on the power supply there. So it's not very current hungry when it's um, producing plenty of audio. So I think that's it. We've looked at the transmit output power, looked at the frequency error, looked at the deviation, looked at the sensitivity, and we've heard the audio coming out of it for a given amount of deviation going into it. So now all that's left to do is the spectral purity, I think. So I uh, hope you found that interesting or useful or both, as always. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time. As always, thanks for watching.